All right, let's get back to the Redlands where there is a large police presence near the home of an elderly couple who went missing over the weekend. Gil Davis is above in Sky 5 with the details. Gil? Well, Glenn and Lou, the Redland SWAT team has made their move here on this house. This is in that Kiesel community here. It's actually the Olivedale Ranch community. You can see the uh, battering ram connected to that uh, SWAT vehicle has pushed into the front uh, windows of this home here. Uh, it's a uh, partially dirt road, partially paved road that's uh, up a ways from the major streets here. But you can see the SWAT team here working with that battering ram to go in through that front window. It's unclear if there's anybody in the property right now that we haven't heard anything about that, but they are definitely using uh, that breaching tool there to at least get access to see that front of that property. I'll come out a little wider to show you that property. It's up, up the hill uh, on the, uh, this would be the northeastern side of the community here. And uh, there are a, there is a big police presence here down the hill where the command post is. But just in the last few minutes, they moved this uh, battering ram right into position, took out that front metal screen that you see on the ground there on the bottom, and they're continuing to work on that window to uh, pull it out. So it's unclear if they are in communication with anybody inside of that home or not. But certainly Redlands uh, SWAT team here making their move on this property here in that Kiesel community. That's the latest overhead up in Sky 5. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Uh, Gil, just want to get a clarification. Is this the residence of the missing couple? You know, we're not sure exactly which property it is. It is in the uh, community where they live, though. So it's definitely uh, within the community here. Like I said, on the uh, northeastern side of the community. Now they're moving the battering ram upwards. So it looks like... They're happy with what they've done there. We'll see if they try to clear that vehicle, that uh, SUV, out of the driveway to give them more access or not. He's going to start moving that vehicle now. So we'll see what they decide to do at this point. So far, no activity in the backyard or in the uh, surrounding areas here, but uh, they have this area completely shut down. And Gil, uh, you're, you know, you're very experienced. You've seen uh, SWAT and uh, standoffs and things that happen. Uh, why the battering ram? Why not just knock on the door or go into the home? Um, do you think they've gotten intel that possibly someone's being held captive? That could be. Uh, you know, they were really concerned, I think, with this piece of... Uh, uh, item or this item I should say that was covering those windows it looked like it was a metal uh, awning maybe that was covering those windows uh, that people might be able to see out of but the police could not see into so they definitely cleared that out now they're backing up it's unclear what they're going to do at this point but they wanted to clear that I think they wanted to clear that uh, awning thing that was covering the windows to make sure that uh, they were they had some visibility into that property well we can only uh surmise that this is not the actual home that the missing couple lives in because as we saw in Shelby Nelson's report uh, a couple of neighbors and close friends actually have a key to their residence and had actually mm. been inside already so uh, this is obviously I, I can't say obviously but this must be another home in that uh, in that community yeah I don't believe this is the home uh, you know unfortunately the, the streets here like I said they're semi-paved, semi-dirt roads, uh, they're not labeled, at least on our map system anyways, they're not given a name. So really it's the 26,000 block of Kiesel Road is what uh, the address comes back to. And that's part of the problem for us is figuring out exactly where the couple's home is and uh, according to where this property is. So is it just uh, Redlands uh, SWAT that is on the scene right now? It is. Let me come out uh, real quick and show you the command post. There's quite a large presence. You can see that road is blocked off by several Redlands uh, officers' vehicles here. Here's the uh, where they are basing their vehicles, and here's the command post on the curb there. So they have this area here uh, set up for that command post. It's not very far from the house that they're working on right now, but you can see how they have worked uh, this particular road. They've gone up the road with that SWAT vehicle and now they're right in front of this property. So it's unclear exactly how close this is to the actual couple's property. Okay, once again, if you're just joining us, uh, this is a situation where an elderly couple in Redlands uh, in this community has been missing at least since Sunday. Uh, Shelby Nelson, who was there on the ground, reported earlier that uh, a couple of neighbors that they usually go to church with, uh, they had not heard from them. They 
happened to have a key to their place and they went inside and the uh, the woman who lived in the in the house uh, she has to walk with a cane because she has multiple sclerosis her cane was in the house uh, I believe she said the uh, the couple's cell phones were also in the house but the couple and their dog uh, were nowhere to be seen so uh, it's kind of a mystery uh, what has happened to this couple obviously uh, I guess their vehicle was still there and if she has MS and he has early dementia as Shelby reported, then uh, it's uh, very unlikely that they would have uh, walked out of their residence and then gone walking down the road. And, you know, it's also, uh, as you can see, kind of a desert community, so, uh, and very hot. So uh, it's a big mystery right now what exactly has happened to them. Yeah, Dan and Stephanie Menard, uh, both 178, one is 73, and they were last seen on Saturday, the 24th. Uh, around 10 o'clock in the morning and they also have a little dog and uh, that dog when they went into the home was also gone. So the couple and the dog have been missing uh, since the 24th since um, that time and now today it looks like the SWAT team has uh, gone into this other home and again we continue to say it's unclear if this is their home, the neighbor's home, uh, a suspect's home, that is unclear at this hour.